What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the harem. Oh my gosh, they're all there. <laughs> that guy is swimming in it. One of them has a hat. Wow, she's the different. She's probably the main character in the anime. Also, I'd like to note that, uh, like, these girls, like, look where their eyes are placed on their heads. Looks, it doesn't oh, look right, does it? No. Yeah. Now that you point it out, <laughs> it doesn't. It does I'll, not look right. This guy's also an anime character. He's, like, one of the, one of the thugs, you know, that, like, yeah, there, there's this whole arc where they're they're all fighting and you have yeah. to uh, you have to make them come together and sing kumbaya. Yeah, he's 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 the sunder one in the group. Performer, so, performer Zoe. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I uh, pronounce it that way just to make everyone mad. How you like that, you fucking weebs? Is that pronounced sunder? It's tsundere. T t t sunder. <laughs> t sunder derriere. All right. Yep. Freeloom uh, literally attacks anything. 60 HP and like 10 defense. <laughs> it, it's Ooh. a glass cannon, man. Yeah. Polywag. Like, I don't even like feel confident keeping it keeping it out against things that we have time anything. advantage. Oh, I'm, I'm tormenting. Needle arm. I didn't know what torment did, not gonna lie. Oh, uh, well now you do. Polywag's still dead, who gives a fuck? We did it. Oop. And now we're, yeah, we're still going left. To the left, to the left. Yes, Dylan. We, we made we a know. joke last time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but in case you didn't watch last episode, we'll make the same joke. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, in episode 30 of uh, The Thousand Year Door, yeah. there was a lot of comments that people were like, I'm just tuning in. What's going on? Why does he have five health? I was like, you're just tuning in, huh? To episode 30? To episode 30. I, I tell you, man, if you make the thumbnails different, you get more people. <laughs> I changed the background on that thumbnail, and it, it did wonders. Yeah, it's confusing to me. It's it's a weird science. It's like, eh, you know, I haven't seen the previous 29, but I'll watch number 30. I mean, you're just curious. You just see it. The title looks appealing. You just got through wanking it. I don't know. Or any other mundane task. <laughs> I, I think, I think, uh, I was looking up Terry Crews As on IMDb. Yeah. <laughs> and realized, like, a few years back, he went to rehab because of pornography addiction. Incredible. And I, I just had to wonder, like, at what point... Does it become an addiction? Yeah. Apparently, it's it becomes so destructive that it just ruins other responsibilities in your life, and you start intentionally putting things off to go jerk it. But here's the thing. Like, you can only jerk it so many times until you're shooting blanks. <laughs> or, like, you start hurting yourself. Oh, gee, I sure am thirsty. Oh, you have to go underground and then buy yeah. him some, okay. Yeah, some lemonade. Eh, bah. But uh, for some reason, if you uh, yep, if you give one of the guards lemonade, none of them are thirsty ever again. Yes, that, they, they, they share it. It's just one guy. <laughs> He's thirsty because he has to keep running back and forth. Hello, Team Rocket. Oh, no, we're in Saffron. Shit. This is, no, I said Celadon, didn't it? Yeah, oh, it shit, Celadon. you're right. I still think this is wrong. Is it? Yeah. Should we not be here? I mean, we can. We can go fuck up Erica while we're here. Oh. She's grass. Uh, where's uh, Selfco? I thought it was in Saldon. Is it not? Nuh-uh. Is it in Saffron? Where is it? I think I think it's in Saffron. Okay. Uh, uh, it's like it's definitely floor. in Saffron. Like, I'm thinking of the Smash 64 stage. It's called Saffron City, and you fight on top of Selfco. Okay, yep. Ding dong. Uh, Lemonade up here? No, it's uh, roof. Oh, so can't, can't see. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was on the top. There you go. Oh, whoops. Ah. Oh. Ah, this is how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh oh, Dylan, you keep buying fresh water. Fresh water is actually good, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. It's uh, all these are like uh, more valuable potions. Yeah. Talk to them. See what. See if they got anything good. Yeah, I think. Uh, we some, can learn some, like, hydro pump shit. Uh, I don't need any of those. No. Garbage. Uh, maybe Breloom could use them. Eh. He -he. Too expensive. Oh, same shit, but in battle. Eh. And temporary. Even better. I mean, they're, they're pretty good sometimes. Like, awesome times, actually. What about what we got? Um, some stuff. Do we need... We Wait. Don't, we don't have anything that could use We stones. can get Eevee. Can we? Yeah, just buy any fucking stone. Because it honestly yeah, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Eevee's gonna evolve into fucking whatever he wants to, anyways. Where do we get Eevee? Like, 
in this town. Okay. Um, he's not like one you catch. You just pick him up. Oh, okay. Um, God, look at these sp the sprites of the dudes. They're playing on their Game Boy. What do I have in mind? Is counter? No. <laughs> That's a strange store. Yeah, is, it, is that it for this? That's floor? it. All right. What okay. do you sell? A uh, one TM. And I'll just kind of give it to you. It's like, okay. <laughs> That's bad business, I'd say. <laughs> All right, cool. The foe. Uh, oh, it has the names. Yeah. It didn't used to have the names. No, no, it did not. Okay, all these suck. Yeah, but the uh, other one has down the here. yeah the type ones. Fuck. Bro. Oh. Nope. I no. It, uh, you get those at the the gaming center, right? Oh shit. Yeah, I forgot about the gaming center. Oh shit, Safari Zone. Who? That's gonna be interesting. Who? And think we don't even have to work to catch them. <laughs> Hello. That's great. All right, yeah, that, that was it for the department store. Okay, if I remember correctly, go right, then up. There's a mansion. Yeah, you want to... Wait, talk to that guy. I swallowed my tongue. Give me some tea. Wow. Okay. I want some tea. Um. Uh, uh, oh, uh, wow, they're closing I'm you getting, in. I'm getting boxed in. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Nice tea, Little. bud. Sorry. All right, is there... Go up, because I know you can get out somehow, and there's a Game Freak, I don't know if it's here, but like behind this building, right there, to the left right there, that's where you get Eevee. Okay. We have to... Explore the mansion. Yeah. Or I think you're onto something. I do not remember this place at all. Oh, uh, this is a... Uh... Like yeah. if, when you completely fill up your Pokedex, you come back here. Yeah, this is a Game Shark. Actually, this okay. is what it's supposed to be. They hide the Game Shark devs in every game. Okay. Yeah. Get I think you can go. I think you go outside though. Game Freak, you mean? What? You said Game Shark. Oh yeah, Game yeah. Freak. They do not condone. <laughs> yeah, th there's going to be a angry comment about that. So. Yeah, go up. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. You see that little entrance? I do. Nice. I'm gonna go into that entrance. Now let's go get that little Eve. I hope uh, it's okay to have five Pokemon or six Pokemon. Oh shit! It almost certainly is not. We can check. Yeah. Uh, can I? Can I? Uh, can I just go pick it up? Oh, cool. <laughs> oh shit! It's not Nevi. Okay. It's not Nevi. <laughs> <laughs> it's level twenty-five. All right. Um, I don't know why I thought it was going to be an Eevee. I think I'm the idiot, yeah. actually. We're going to name him Eevee. It's okay. Yeah. Redemption. <laughs> cool. Also, we just walked into this guy's house, took his Pokemon. Oh, okay. My Game Boy. Uh, okay. Oh, my Goodbye. immersion. Yeah. <laughs> what is this Game Boy you speak of? Thanks for the Aerodactyl, bud. <laughs> uh, no, we already have uh, Regirock, who's buff as fuck. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I'm going to go look at it regardless. Yeah. I think it went to, yeah. Fuck. Just wait, just press there's a, a Yeah, there's an there. item down here. There has to be. Yeah. Uh, down? You didn't get the bottom right corner? I thought I did. Okay, cool. Well, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go look at Eevee. He might be good. Can we look at their stats without withdrawing them? I think yeah, we can. you can yeah. just do move Pokemon. I really... Yeah, then we need to say... No, just move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking, was, yeah. Move would have been the right thing, but I kind of fumbled, fumbled my buttons. I understand. Uh, hello, War Turtle. Uh, summary. What do we got? He's brave. Okay. Uh -huh. Stats are uh, pretty decent. Guts is... Uh, that 14 defense. Pretty, yeah, fucking Jesus. And then uh, similar... Synthesis. Huh. Huh. I don't think... I don't think uh, he's supposed to learn synthesis. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think he's staying boxed. Rar X3. <laughs> Big Mars. This guy, this guy has like bad stats, right? Oh, really bad stats. And also does not uh, evolve, so. Good man. I was really excited to evolve Eevee. Yep. Yeah, well, that was not Eevee. We have a Firestone now, so. What what, what, what even takes a Firestone? Uh, Ninetales. I mean, like Volpix, yeah, two Ninetales. Yeah. Growlithe. Okay, yeah. Those are the only two. And first gen. Probably other gens, maybe. <laughs> Get lost or I'll punch you. No, go left. Cut open that tree. And then you go left to fight oh, the gen. Oh, yeah, I, I recall. Yeah. This is the most forgettable town, I think. 
Like, of all the gems in Gen 1, I think this is by far the most forgettable. I like, I like Erica. Yeah? I wanna... Do what, Dylan? To Tra her... Treat her nice and uh, have a nice, kind Pokemon battle. Uh-huh, nothing about her Vergooter? No. Okay. No. Good. None of these people either. Good. <laughs> They're all probably children, so that's very good. That that's why you are not sleeping with no, them. They're, they're dancers. They're not, they're not children, they're dancers. Dylan. Okay. There, there can be some overlap. <laughs> this is a rock... Uh, is it just rock or is it rock dark? Oh, I think we've already looked it up. I think we have also. Oh. I, I think it's just rock. I could be wrong. That's why we have my phone. It's ground rock, so oh, even shit. better <laughs> for us. He double slapped me. Incredible. Uh, bubble beam. Magnitude. Okay. And then you get bubble beam. Epic. Yeah, he's dead. Nice so. job being dead, idiot. And then what? Who's next? Probably Corsola. Looks like a rock gem. Yeah, has to be. Okay. So Sui's gonna sweep? Uh, Breloom. Oh shit, you're right. Would be better. Uh, Until Breloom dies to a hit. Yeah. Until Breloom gets hit by literally anything. It kind of sucks. I don't think this Kyogre is ever going to evolve. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't think Kyogre evolves. Kyogre does not evolve, but I thought <laughs> that. Uh, no, I do too. You're okay. That would uh, all of our Pokemon would, would evolve eventually. On the randomizer, we definitely pressed an option that would force Pokemon to evolve. Yep. I don't know where the line draws, but we the only evolution we have seen is the one we forced. Yes. With the leaf stone. I'm pretty sure that's Eric in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna you might as well fight all the trainers, especially if I have type advantage like this. Yeah, that's fair. Aaron. Steel a type. Aaron. Like if you get the reference. Tee -hee. I get the reference. Do you? I do. Nice. Eh pick. Yes. It's uh it's a it's a skip from Keen Peel, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's from Keep Hills. Actually, very funny at the time, but people kind of butchered it into the ground. Ooh. If you had a friend named Aaron growing up, I'm sure he hates that skit. Also, uh, our Specty uh, has kind of, like, been lagging behind. I think so we've it's... got, like, negative points. <laughs> Je oh. Jesus Christ, man. Oy. Growing up, I had a, uh, a little thing with a fling. Uh, fuck. A little fling with a girl named Jacqueline. She also fucking hated that bit. Jaqueline? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was it? Timothy. But that one's like not as good. My favorite Keen Pill skit is the uh, the East West Bowl. With really? The, yeah, I fucking love that shit. That's your favorite? Yeah. I mean, it's it's good, but that is my favorite uh, Keen Keen Peel skit. I don't know. Front hand, back hand's good. <laughs> I like uh, I like the East West Bowl. East West Bowl is good. Some uh, in my film class, some people had to like create skits and things of the such. Yeah. Someone did exactly East West Bowl, and I called them the fuck out on it <laughs> in class. They got docked some points. Nice. Yeah. They should have failed. <laughs> it was fucking film. You can that's. Do you not know what film is? You just fucking steal ideas. Yeah, it's, it's like literally plagiarism, though, right? <laughs> I mean, they didn't make it like one one. Oh, okay. They they created new names. They, they take they took the same concept. Just the exact okay, same concept. That's a little different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll say if they literally copied the script, then I would uh, yeah. I would say that fails them. <laughs> they did not copy the script. Okay. That's like my my stepdad. He had to write a poem for an English class. He told me the story, where he just. Submitted an obscure. He was a he was a big rap fan, rap hip hop back in the day. Yeah, and he submitted an obscure LL Cool J song that not a lot of people were aware of. Oh yeah. So he dropped the lyrics, and he had to read it to his class. And then everyone was like, "Wow, that was really good." And someone was like, "Isn't that LL Cool J?" One person <laughs> just caught it, and then goes, "Fuck!" And then failed that project. Nice. I uh I definitely copied rap lyrics for some of my poems in high school. Yeah. Uh I, I went super obscure, nobody ever got them. Uh, I remember one of them was like uh, a Hobson song of some sort. Yeah. But like not like none of the singles, I don't even remember the name of the fucking song anymore. Nor do I remember the lyrics that I quoted from. But there was like some Hobson song in like two thousand like ten yeah. that I quoted in high school. That was like before he was like super popular also. Like two thousand ten, two thousand eleven around mm -hmm. then. 
we were talking in and our... And nobody was none the wiser. I fooled them all. <laughs> I wasn't nearly as creative as they thought. Major, Don, and I were talking in our 3D World playthrough of how cheating in high school doesn't fucking matter, but cheating in college is bad. <laughs> I mean, it matters both times. The only reason why it matters, or it doesn't matter in high school, is because your grades in high school don't matter. Yes. That is, I'm not saying plagiarize your senior paper. <laughs> Did you write a senior paper? Uh, not really. What do you mean, not really? I, I didn't really write it. I, I wrote papers in my senior year of high school. But you didn't have a dedicated 30% yeah. of your grade senior paper. Yeah, no. Okay. Mine, the stipulation for most people was it had to be a European author and they had to be dead. Okay. I think it was British specifically, actually. Yeah, just because they w really wanted to give you something you have not read. But I was in Aegis English. Was it just like is, a book report? Yeah, pretty much. Gay. But yeah, you had to, like, you spent fucking months on it. It was one of those things that, like, people stressed out a lot more than they should have just because it was treated like a oh, big shit, deal. Oh, shit, peck. Okay, never mind. You know what I mean? Uh, they stress out a little. Yeah. It, it's like serving tables. Like, they try to, they make serving tables seem really stressful. But I, I did it just fucking fine because I was yeah. like, oh, this shit's easy. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing about that... Oh, Pupitar, nice. The thing about that is just... It's it's fuck. Things are only stressful if you make them stressful. Uh, for some people. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I was going to okay. rephrase that because I was yeah. like, that's too general. A lot, yeah. a lot of people have a uh, hard, time, hard time dealing. I simplify my problems and it helps me out tremendously. Oh shit, air cutter. Oh, yeah, crit. Yeah, oh, fucking man. out of there. Is this <laughs> Erica or her posse? This is her posse. Okay. Um, oh, looks like Swee's going in. Yeah. Mine was over the catcher and the rye. Ooh, very, uh... Edgy? Naughty. <laughs> yeah. Mine was... We got to... I wanted to do mine over... Because I was a little edgy fuck. I wanted to do Clockwork Orange. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because that's some bad shit. But, like, it's good shit about bad shit. Yeah. You ever read slash watched? I, I am familiar with the with the concept of uh, Clockwork Orange. Yeah, I really like Clockwork Orange. Like, I genuinely do. Is it an 80s film or a 70s film? Um, Film, I don't know. Okay. I, I remember... I just know I just know about the film. I don't know about the book. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go heal my reloom because I want to use him instead. The film came out. Yeah, 71. Okay. Yeah, Clockwork Orange is really good. Movie movie is also one of the better adaptations to from book to film I've seen. IMO. Okay. It. Uh, I just like so it's some. Uh, des describe it to the viewers. It's like some real fucked up shit. Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Yeah, you did a pretty good job describing it. It's it's some real fucked up shit. <laughs> it's it's you could say it's a coming of age film, but that's <laughs> really stressing it. <laughs> it's kind of pushing the limits on what a coming of age narrative is. Yeah. There's there's you got your four four buds, and <laughs> they're doing all kinds of hood rat shit, and then they leave the main character behind, and he goes to a good boy center. You know, you know at the beginning of Robot Chicken, where like they have the eyes peeled and yep. they're like putting the water droplets. That's from Clockwork Orange. Yep. So they they make him become a good boy and they use music as a motif throughout the whole film slash book. Yep. Yep. And the movie enters on a rape scene. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So I I didn't want to like sell it as like a happy go lucky film. Yeah. <laughs> I had to throw in that they were very. <laughs> Very bad things in the movie. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, but fun fact: in the intro of it, now have you ever seen the movie or any part of it? Uh, nope. Well, they are breaking into a dude's house, and the dude is with his wife. Just tie the dude up, whatever. And they're destroying their whole like office library, knocking over bookshelves. And the main character started singing, uh, I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain as he was, like, taking this girl's clothes off, assaulting her, things yeah. and such. That was complete improv, and the director was like, holy shit, that's terrifying. <laughs> I'm going to go get the rights to that song right now. And just fucking did it instantly. So that song's kind of, uh, corrupted for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every time I hear it, I'm just like, I'm picturing rape. 
cool. It's not a good thing to picture. Not not cool. Not cool. Act not cool. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's a good book. If you want a good book and you're in high school, because I think most people can use it for senior papers. Yeah. Uh, read it. I you have my uh, Alpha Book Club seal of approval. <laughs> it's it's one of the most entertaining books I have read, and I've read a lot of books that I didn't enjoy. I haven't read a lot of books, because fuck reading. I actually used to read a lot back in high school. I have better ways to spend my time. I mean, now, I just fucking <laughs> play video games for a living, so hell yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> back then, I was concerned about my future. Oh yeah, I, I don't, in no way do I do I feel that reading will improve my future. Is it like, reading for enjoyment, especially. Yeah, that's fair. Like, like fucking, like... I do a lot of reading. None of it is. It, it's for learning. It's for not. It's not yeah. for enjoyment. A lot of a lot of the argument of people is like, you should read more. Is like, bitch, I read every single day of my life. Yeah. I read articles online. I edit. I type shit. You know what? Fuck you. I write descriptions in my YouTube videos. <laughs> Take that for your five paragraph essay. Yeah. I'm gonna start including bibliographies in my YouTube videos, MLA format. I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe not MLA format, but uh, sourcing sourcing your shit. Is... No, it has to be MLA. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be MLA. I prefer Chicago. Okay, buddy. Make uh, sure that this video is uh, properly sourced with our references to Clockwork Orange. Grass and whistle. What? Then my senior class. Let's see if I wake up. Oh, that, holy shit. Oh, no, you're up. toughing through this. And maybe. Well, <laughs> it didn't do very much damage. But it's trying to do more now. Yeah. Yeah, it ramps up. Doesn't it go five times? Yep. Cool. It does have mischance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we witnessed that. It's our Reggie Rock that knows rollout, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Look at that EXP. It sure is some EXP. Wow, that was a gem. Wow. A rainbow badge. <laughs> what are you? Hetero. Not heterosexual? You use strength in and out of combat. Sorry. Oh, shit, where do we get strength? I don't know, man. I have Giga Drain now, though. Probably gonna erase. What do I erase for Giga Drain? Who or for Breloom? Yeah. Uh, I don't fucking know. Show me 60. the move set. It's either Needle Arm or. Uh... Oh. I, thought, I thought it was more than sixty base. Maybe I don't teach it at all. Cause this one has fifteen. I don't know if I want to teach it at all. Yeah, let's yeah, don't. Erase jump kick, erase jump kick. Cause our our phys our physical is so fucking terrible. That's definitely an option. Uh so uh just so you know, strength is in Fuchsia City. Okay. Um What do I like more? Mad not missing or I I'd say fuck Giga Drain. Yeah. We're good. Five base kinda sucks. Five base PP. Oh no. Yeah, uh, should uh no. My PP. Yes. You get the reference to the other episode? I get it! 